Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first sit down video of 2023. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Um, can we just acknowledge this sweetness? <laughs> In the background, I've got Fancy in front of me lighting the sunlight, but thankfully they are now tired because they've just been running around my house playing and I was like, how am I gonna film with this? Let them tire themselves out. It is time to film today's YouTube video. So I'm going to be doing the classic how much YouTube paid me in 2023. We have all seen these videos before, we love them. I originally wasn't planning on doing this video though, if I'm being totally honest. I have created one of these for the past few years and I feel like there's no new information for me to share other than these are my numbers this year. But one of the things I'm going to be doing different this year is yes, I'm going to show you how much YouTube paid me month by month, full breakdown, my top earning videos, like what my RPM, CPM, all of that stuff, we'll take a look at it. But I also wanna do a full breakdown of what my business made this past year and and how that looked in terms of my income streams as well as how it has changed this past year compared to any year previously. I'm also going to apologize for the sunlight. I have yet to pull up my studio lights in this house and now the sun is just disappearing on me. But let's dive into YouTube analytics. In 2022, I ended up getting a little over 4 million views this year. I had 407,000 watch hours 42,000 new subscribers gained and ultimately like what we're here for is I ended up making $64,464.08. Now, when we dive into the like how much money I made this year and like full breakdown of AdSense and stuff, this is not the money that hit my bank account this year, okay? Because AdSense is delayed by one month. So the money that I made in December didn't actually hit my bank account until January. So really the money that I made in 2020 was from December of 2021 up until November of 2022. That's the money that paid out. But for these analytic purposes, $64,000. If I click on this, just to like take a look at some of the trends here, I didn't upload at all in January. And currently like these are not pulling up, but you can see I don't know why it's not pulling up until down here, but I did upload this whole entire year. So January, I wasn't uploading anything. This was just the money that I was making from old videos that were live on my channel. So a little over like $150, a day for when I'm not uploading. I mean, that's great. That's amazing passive income. And then my first video back, I ended up making $410 this day. This was one of my most profitable days in terms of AdSense for the whole entire year. If I take a look, that's three, seven, 300. You know what? That was my most profitable day, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the most money I made in one day was my first video back <laughs> of the year. So love that for me. Otherwise, I mean, it's pretty much on trend. It's going down a little bit and you can see there's a big drop down right here. After the holidays, advertisers tend to pull a decent bit of their ads revenue. So you will see your income drop in January specifically. I was uploading every single day in December up until the 24th. So my revenue was a little bit higher here as well as you can see my views were a little bit higher here. But if we go to the revenue tab, we can take a look just deeper into this. If we take a look at the RPM CPM, one of the cool things to note is that my RPM and CPM went up a little compared to the year previously. So if you have no idea what RPM and CPM are, you can actually just like hover over any of these analytics or like kind of words and it will pop up a description for you. So this is how much advertisers pay per thousand views on one of your YouTube videos. And this changes for every single YouTube video compared to the RPM is how much you earn per thousand views because YouTube obviously has to keep their cut. They have to make their own money and then they also pay their creators, which is one of the amazing things about the YouTube platform. So I am making about $15.22 on average for my RPM in 2022 and my CPM, how much YouTube can charge, is almost like $30. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see my top five earning videos for 2022. The first one, how to start a YouTube channel. I launched that video in March of 2020, so that video is almost three years old at this point, and it made me $7,300. For something that I made almost three years ago, for it to continuously make me money every single year is absolutely amazing. 
but I do not think this is going to be a top earner for me in 2023, and we will talk about that. If I were starting a YouTube channel, exact same topic right there, $5,800, how to write a blog post. This one YouTube video did not pick up for the longest time. It was live on my YouTube channel for probably over two years. If I really take a look at the stats, I could tell you, I'll pop something up here so you guys can actually see what's going on there, but this one, was slow and steady and then it just really popped off so for it to be my third top earner last year is amazing because i created that video a while ago as well that one made me three thousand dollars how to get started with affiliate marketing we will take a look at the rpm on this one because that's crazy two thousand five hundred dollars how long it takes to get monetized this is a video that i made back in 2019 was it and it made me $1,300 so none of the videos that I actually launched in 2022 were my top performers in terms of ads revenue but every single one of my videos does make me a couple hundred dollars like this obviously does not add up to the 64,000 that I made but this is still like a good chunk of change from videos that I created a while ago so let's click on see more here okay just so we can see a quick breakdown of the revenue source is right here the watch ads are what made me the most money which is not surprising so this is anyone that is seeing my ads on the side of my youtube videos in the middle of my youtube videos the beginning and if you do not have youtube premium this is how i make money so sixty three thousand dollars came from that and then if you do have youtube premium and you do not see any of the ads one thousand dollars came from that just a monthly breakdown here you can see that my revenue did dip a bit in this section and then it popped up in december so i think december with six thousand dollars let me confirm this yes december was the most money that i made from my ads revenue all year and that is because i uploaded 24 videos that month it was a lot of work and honestly, I'm never doing Vlogmas again, and I will share that in another YouTube video. But if I go back to the content, you can see, okay, this one video I do wanna talk about for a second. So this video has been performing for me ever since 2020. It has done extremely, extremely well. But you can see, based off of the revenue, what is happening here, it's absolutely tanking. And that's the exact same thing with the views. YouTube is finally realizing that I am not just only talking about YouTube anymore. It is not ranking me as high in search. and I am personally happy about that because I've shifted my content. I want to move a little bit away from that. So my revenue from this video is not doing nearly as well. If we take a look at the RPM, okay, remember how I mentioned this affiliate marketing video? The RPM on this affiliate marketing video and the CPM, okay, the CPM is $96. The RPM is 58, almost $59. Whenever I talk about affiliate marketing, that is one of my highest paying topics. And it's just like really, really interesting to see because like these two are basically the exact same topic. This one is $18 RPM. This one is $13 RPM. We get a $10 RPM right here, which is talking about monetization on YouTube. It's talking about making money. Uh, iMovie, iMovie, tips for bloggers, $24, $26, $24. This one, how to vlog for beginners, $11. How much YouTube paid me, this exact same video, $18. But your RPM and CPM is going to change based off of every single YouTube video. So when I showed you that, what my like average was for 2022, that was just an average. Monetized playbacks in case you're curious. So this one video got almost 500,000 views this year and it made me $7,000. This one got 411,000 views, it made me $5,000. And then this one got me 48,000 views and it made me $2,500. Like, and it makes sense because obviously it's equivalent with the RPM. Like how much money you make is not based off of the number of views you get. Obviously the more views you get, the more money you are going to make, but it is different every single channel and every single video on your channel. Before we dive into how much money I actually made in 2022 with all of my income streams, I do wanna give a disclaimer here because I think it can be really exciting to see that number, $64,000, like that is enough to quit your full-time job. Honestly, the first full-time job I had out of college, that is double the salary that I have. So like that, pff, man, 
that is enough to become a full-time content creator, but that is before taxes. So that's something you always need to think about is like that $64,000. That's not just money in my pocket. That's not helping me cover my mortgage, my gas, my electric, my clothes, and like whatever else I need to buy. That is money that goes into my business bank account. And then I do have to pay taxes. I have got licensing and other things that go into running a business. I have other business expenses and stuff. And then I am actually a salaried employee from my business. So I just get a bi-weekly paycheck check and that is money that I get to spend on my everyday living stuff. So that $64,000, if you exclude taxes and stuff, that is not how much money you are really, really going to have. And that's why I think it's so, so incredibly important to diversify your income. There's actually like a few reasons why you want to diversify your income, but one of them is obviously like that is not that, that, that is not all your cash, okay? Like you're actually going to be making less than that. You just might not realize it. Your income with different income streams is going to fluctuate. So I've had some months where I make $11,000 off of my YouTube ads. And then there's other months where I make $4,000. So if I am expecting every single month to be making $11,000 and if I increase my spending, which you do not want to do this, but if you have a lifestyle creep and every single month you're like, well, I'm making $11,000. So I'm going to spend $7,000. What happens when you make only $4,000 the next month? Like, you should have other income streams that help you to more so balance out what you're making. Now, in 2022, I did have one month where I made $73,000 and another month where I made $13,000 when you look at all of my income streams together. But having different income streams that you can rely on in case another one dips is really, really important for you to have, especially as a creator. So let's take a look at how much I made in 2021 versus 2023. And here's the thing, you guys, I'm going to be fully transparent with you. Hey, in 2021, I ended up making 81,000 more dollars compared to 2022, which I did expect my income to dip in 2022. But in reality, I was supposed to have two pretty large payouts hit in December and I thought my difference in income was only going to be a little less than $10,000. So those payouts ended up hitting in January, which means I am starting off really, really strong this year. In 2021, I made $382,000 and in 2022, I made $301,275.78. Whew, that is a lot. Okay, so if we break it down, income stream by income stream. The first one, consulting. In 2021, I made $6,300. I had a monthly contract where I was consulting, so every single month I got a payout that year. And then in 2022, I made $1,000 because I ended up stopping my monthly contract. I just like did not have the time to dedicate to that consulting opportunity anymore, so I made $1,000 with that. Affiliate income. This is one of my top earning income streams, and actually in 2021, this was my top earning income stream. I made $125,781 off of affiliate income. And in 2022, I made $94,478. So still extremely high. I didn't make as much as I made the month before, but like that is a strong, strong income stream. I made more money off of that than I did my YouTube ads. And affiliate marketing, you guys, can be such a freaking powerhouse. Like you just gotta make sure that you're including your links. Like become an affiliate of companies that you really believe in, products that you use all the time, and make sure you are linking things. Like one of the things I am trying to get better at this year is linking things that I truly love. This being one of them, I have linked this um, on Instagram, I've linked it on YouTube, and I've had a lot of you being like, oh my gosh, I was looking for something similar. So if you guys are looking for a computer stand, this is a great one. I'll include an affiliate link down below, but affiliate income can definitely become a powerhouse. Do not sleep on affiliate marketing. Next up, we have got Google Ads. So in 2021, I made 113,000 off of my AdSense revenue compared to 2022. Now this number is going to be different than what we just saw, right? Because it's from December 2021 to November of 2022. So I ended up making $66,965.91 off of my ads revenue. So that one went down pretty significantly this year, but Hold on, it's not the next income stream, it's the one following. You will see like where I made up for some of my income. So sales of digital products, okay, in 2021, I made $30,000. Last year, I made $5,000. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. I ended up pulling away from my paid products. I removed a bunch. I really was not promoting them because it just... I, like my dedication was towards this house and I didn't have enough time for all of the things that I used to do and 
Ah, uh, there were some Ray products that were just like old and out of date. Like my blog hustler, I created that so long ago. In my right mind, I could not leave it up because I was like, some of this information is old. Like my YouTube presets, I stopped using them myself. So it's like, I wasn't going to sell them for you guys if I stopped using them. And my original plan was to revamp them and how I edit my photos now, I don't use presets. Like everyone is individual how I change it. So it just like didn't make sense for that. So I definitely pulled away from my paid products and it showed significantly, like $25,000 less significantly. Sales of merch, so I came out with merch in 2021, so the sales were higher, $10,915. And that's before cost of goods sold, so that's not actually how much money I ended up making that year. Actually, I should tell you. So cost of goods sold was $8,695 because that's like, if you're like really typing in the numbers and you're like, this doesn't look right. So if you subtract that, that's actually how much money I made from merch in 2021. In 2022, $2,945.07. Cost of goods sold was $2,105.26. So I really only made like $800 there, $840 off of merch this year. Again, it wasn't something that I was promoting. I didn't come out with any new merch because I talked about this a million times. I do ideally want to take it in house. The last one, sponsorships. This is where I said I was supposed to have two huge payouts hit in December. I thought my sponsorships was going to be over $200 thousand dollars this year which is crazy and like in reality if you take a look at it like the work that I did yeah I made over two hundred thousand dollars in sponsorships it just like didn't fully pay out so in 2021 I made a hundred and five thousand dollars of sponsorships so if you think about it I doubled my sponsorships this past year again the payouts didn't hit so I ended up making one hundred thirty two thousand eight hundred twenty dollars off of my sponsorships in 2022 and that's basically what equals my uh, earnings for this past year. So changing the split in my income this year, like having affiliate marketing, I kind of wanted to be the same and it was relatively close to the same. Ads I knew were going to go down because I was changing my content dramatically. Like I expected my ads revenue to go down, but I wanted more of a push on my sponsorships in 2022. The reason why I did this and kind of my mindset on sponsorships because it has changed from what I've shared with you guys in the past and I still stand by what I share in the past. So let me dive into it. Okay. So when I first started taking sponsorships, I was very much so of the mindset of I do not want to rely on sponsorships at all. I want to make sure my other income streams are making me enough cash, enough money that I do not need to worry about ever accepting a sponsorship ever. That didn't mean that I wasn't going to accept a sponsorship, but I was just in the mindset that I want to be super selective with my sponsorships because you take a bad sponsorship, you recommend a bad product, you can lose your audience. And I never ever wanted to feel forced to take a sponsorship just because I needed the cash. And having that mindset, it really allowed me to be super selective. And then any money that I had coming in from sponsorships, that's money that I was saving. Like that is money that has gone into my retirement. That is extra cash to me. That's not cash I was ever relying on. And I loved having that mindset. But this past year, I knew that my AdSense was going to go down. I knew that. Changing my content, making a hard left out of a high RPM, CPM niche, I knew that my AdSense was going to go down and that I needed to kind of supplement for the cash that was being lost there. And I was like, you know what? I'm at the point where why the heck am I not building up my sponsorships? Why am I not landing larger brand deals? As well as I was just talking with my management team. We've had this conversation so many times. You can make so much freaking money off of Instagram and it's content that you're not spending eight freaking plus hours on your computer editing. And they were like, Catherine, like if we can start to get some sponsorships from you over there, it's going to allow you more flexibility, more time. Like you are going to be able to lean back a little bit from your work and like live a little bit more. And that's ultimately my mindset. Like, yes, I want to continue working, but like, I also just want to create the best freaking life for myself. So it was them reinforcing this into me a million times. That's one of the reasons why I'm focusing on Instagram right now. You guys have already gained over 10,000 followers this year on Instagram. Just crazy, crazy. I mean, I'm <laughs> just startling this girl over here, but yeah. So I still in 2022, hyper selective with the companies that I worked with and the sponsorships that I took. I think, did I only work with three companies last year? Or did I work with four? I think I worked with three companies last year. Like still hyper, hyper selective with the sponsorships that I was taking, but I was landing larger brand deals. I was doing really cool things like flying to New York City to be a part of a Nikon campaign, like really, really freaking cool opportunity. And this year I want to do 
even more of a push towards sponsorships. No, I do not want to rely on my sponsorships. I'm still in that mindset that I do not want to rely on my sponsorships, but that is just such a nice income stream that can build so heavily. And there are influencers making millions of dollars just off of their sponsorships. That's crazy. That is going to be it for this YouTube video. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you guys have not checked out my shorts, I have been uploading shorts here on YouTube and I shared a monthly breakdown, how much I made every single month from my business, as well as how I made $1 million in my business because I actually hit that recently as well. So that's very exciting. You guys want to check it out.